Good evening, I'm Jeannie Blaylock. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. Well, in just a matter of seconds, a Nassau County chef says her life changed. Her name is Lisa Vanderwig, and she blames her former landlord. She's taken him to court, in fact. Now, Vanderwig lived in a townhouse on South Fletcher Avenue in Fernandina Beach. One night, she says, she walked out into her balcony and then suddenly fell through one of the deck's slats. She says she hung on for dear life until she finally managed to pull herself up. Our chief investigative reporter, Jacqueline Bernard, joins us now on this story. Um, she says her former landlord now didn't tell her about the construction being done that resulted in, in this. She says she had absolutely no warning, and the handyman doing the work, she says, was unlicensed. Now, the experts say you need to pay attention to who you hire because situations like these happen more often than you may think. Lisa Vanderweg is a well-known chef in Amelia Island. She owns her own restaurant. She's even been in a number of magazines for her work. My life is being in the kitchen and cooking. But that life is now very limited. About four hours is about all I can do. Two years ago, Vanderweg was at home in this Fernandina Beach townhouse she was renting. It was late at night. She'd just gotten off work. I took a shower and put some comfortable clothes on and as usual, step out or open the door to step out onto my balcony and take in some fresh air mm -hmm. and I f just fell and caught myself I guess between the or underneath the rafters. After hanging for a few minutes Vanderweg was able to pull herself back inside. This picture was taken the next morning a clear view of a balcony that had been taken apart. Boards were missing. She says her landlord never warned her about it. They should have warned her that they were going to come do this. Okay, this this is the... Uh, Her attorney, Charles Sorensen, says another problem is the owner of the property hired a handyman that should not have been doing the work. These people hired an unlicensed uh, contractor, handyman is really what it was, to do this work. They never got a permit for it. Those who are licensed say this is a battle they face every single day. And right now, with the economy uh, and the recession, mm -hmm. everybody is a remodeling contractor. There are carpenters who are out of work, who are quote unquote remodeling contractors. Long time here. Yeah. Licensed yeah. contractor Tom Trout says while an unlicensed contractor may be cheaper, they don't have the proper training and no insurance. And that can be dangerous. Well, I'm not the same person. I'm a lot slower. Vanderwig agrees. Two and a half years after her accident, she has physical therapy twice a week. She's on pain medication. It's very stiff and, and she can't lift her arms over her head anymore. It's very frustrating. You know, it's embarrassing to have to ask people for help. For her, life as she knew it has forever changed. Now, the owner of the property is a doctor from Georgia. His attorney declined to talk with us today because of the ongoing litigation. And Shannon, we should point out that licensed contractors say that you need to do your research when you're looking for a contractor. Check the background. Check the reputation. Make Absolutely. sure they have insurance and are licensed. And we say it again and again and again. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Uh, very in interesting story. So on First Coast News, uh, to help add to what Jackie was talking about. We have put more information on how you can, in fact, find a licensed contractor. All you have to do is click on this story, and it's under local news. Well